Hey, it's Tori, your friend and Pilates instructor here on YouTube. I upload new workouts every single week, so subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our HIT or full body workouts. Before we get started with today's workout, it's question time. Here is the question of the day and go ahead and answer your, or put the answer down below so I can get to know you all better. Thanks so much and enjoy our workout. So the first thing we're gonna do is some tuning into the body. So you've just woken up probably, and you're going to just kind of feel what your body feels like today. Close your eyes, stand in parallel position. You're going to feel your, or just kind of have that sensation starting from your toes up to your legs, into the hips and your chest. Check in with your shoulders and your arms and your hands. And go ahead and start your body bounce now. So just kind of tapping those heels down, letting your whole body bounce up and down. Yes, it can be kind of a playful motion because the fascia loves this kind of like primal um, movement. Okay, now we're gonna move into some forward fold bouncing. So just ragdolling it out. We're gonna let your head and shoulders fold and bounce forward. Your knees are still in parallel position, so go ahead and maintain your alignment even as you're just letting your body hang. All right, so our next thing, yep, are you swing. So you're gonna swing your arms to one side of your legs and then center and then swing the other way. Yes, or if you wanna just like swing side to side, it's whatever feels best in your body. So just opening up through the back, enjoying this nice, relaxing sensation. All right, rolling on up. We are going to start, what are we doing? <laughs> okay, we're gonna find our lunge position, thoracic swing, oh yes. So you're just gonna let your arms swing side to side while letting your whole body rotate with you. You're gonna find that nice stable position of the feet. If you need to, you can widen your feet a little bit more to get more of a stable balance. Yep, just letting your body swing side to side. Beautiful. And go ahead and switch to the other foot. Send the other leg back, find that parallel position. If you need to externally rotate that back foot a little bit like I'm doing there, feel free. It's totally fine. We still get our stretch and stability in. Okay, now we're going to start on one end and just slowly roll down through the spine. Yes, and walk your way out. We're gonna put your knees, or first lengthen through that plank position just to feel that sensation and sit back into child's pose position. Nice. We're gonna do cat-cow in a second. So you're gonna curve through the spine. So, yep, curve through the spine. Shift your body forward and then stick your butt out behind you and let that kind of roll come through the spine. Yes. And inhale as you extend and exhale. Tuck the tailbone and roll as you press into your hands, shifting your body weight forward and back. Good. Trying to articulate through each segment of your spine. Perfect. Just waking up your body here. All right, we're transitioning on to our, what are we doing, on our backs. Yes, and we're gonna start with your feet in line with your sits bones, right in front, parallel. Okay, you're gonna reach up with your arms. Yes, clasp your hands together like you're clapping and then curve into a, an upper ab, uh, <laughs> upper ab curl, excuse me. Flex it forward, inhale as you release. Exhale, nod and press to flex. Inhale as you release. Good. Slide that rib cage forward towards your hips. Get those shoulders off of the floor behind you. Yes. And nod and flex it forward. You should feel a little bit of a shaking motion in your low abs if you're doing it correctly. Feel that press and release it. Good. Exhale as you flex and release. A couple more from here. All right, we're gonna turn onto your stomach 
and you're gonna have your fingertips underneath the forehead here. We're gonna start with our breast stroke prep. So inhale as you extend and exhale as you lower. Yes, you probably know this one if you've done my workouts before. So we're just gonna inhale and then exhale to lower. Make sure you're feeling it in your upper back. If you feel it in your low back, squeeze your butt more and kind of open up the fronts of the hips and press your pubic bone into the floor. Yes, into that hover. Make sure you're not crunching your neck up. You don't wanna really look up. You're gonna look kind of diagonally down at the floor, finding that nice alignment and maintaining it as you extend. All right, now we're gonna add a little arm swing to this. So I'm gonna sweep my arm up and overhead and back, back to my breaststroke position. So come back to center, exhale, swoop. Inhale, come to center, perfect. Just a couple more. It's kind of a weird motion to get used to, but once you find that rhythm, it feels pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna add our same arm, same leg into a little bend and release. Good, squeeze that right leg in as you sweep the right leg and press. It's kind of like you're bending into a C shape to the side. Yes, and release and press. Perfect. If you want to go even crazier, you can swoop that leg over the left leg, but okay, <laughs> next time. All right, go ahead and add a knee press to the arm swing. So it's kind of like you're crawling. So opposite arm and opposite knee, just bending to that same side in that same C-shaped position. Perfect. And again, getting that nice primal movement in through your body should feel really good. And let's do the other side. So sweeping that left arm up and over and find your center. Good, press, swing, and release. Keep going here, I think a couple more. My shirt is falling, as usual. Keep going. All right, yes, adding the swoop of the leg. Beautiful, just three more from here. And if you wanna cross that left leg over the right on top of it, two more. And release, yeah, go for it. Oh, just kidding, that was our last one. <laughs> okay, now primal crawl plus the arm swing. So press swing and arm or hand comes in or knee comes in. Perfect, swoop arm and leg. And a press and release and relax. We're folding into a kind of a child's pose. Our next move is our single leg stretch. So you're on your back, hands behind the head, inhale here, exhale, nod the chin, flex it forward. And we're extending one leg at a time into our single leg stretch. Good, inhale, bring it back in, exhale, stretch. Inhale, bring it in. Perfect, keep that upper abdominal connection nice and tight. Get those shoulders off the floor and really flex through the spine for this one. Now we're speeding it up, so quickly, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale for each motion. Good, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Beautiful, keeping the both sides of your hips fully attached to the mat behind you, no rotating as your legs extend. Sorry about Apollo, keep going. Oh, just kidding. And now we're gonna go into obliques. These always get me, so flex it forward. And we're gonna go opposite shoulder to opposite knee, yes. So we're gonna start off with the slower pace. Yes, and inhale, center, exhale, twist. Beautiful. And now we go quicker. Inhale, inhale, exhale. No, nope, I guess not yet. And now we go quicker, quicker. Exhale, exhale, and inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Beautiful. And inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Make sure that your shoulders get fully off of the mat while you're twisting and go ahead and relax and stretch out your arms and legs. Okay, we're gonna do some rolling up. So go ahead and find that position, come all the way up. Oh my gosh, my abs are already tired. Okay. Now we're gonna do our half roll back. So you're starting flex forward, inhale here, exhale, tilt and curve through that C shape of the spine and fold back over the legs. So exhale as you tilt and curve, you're keeping that ab connection as you fold over the legs. So to initiate, it's low abs. Now initiating to the front is upper abs. 
to flex it forward. Good, so low abs on, and then exhale as you push those upper abs in. Good, press and fold. Lovely. One last time. All right, oh, I guess that was our last time. Now we're gonna do our pulses. So you're staying in that half rollback position. Your shoulders are locked in place. I am just pulsing the arms. Three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. Feel that belly button pulled in towards your spine. Perfect, just breathing on your own, whatever feels natural to you. Fold over the legs and relax. We're gonna do our arm circles. Okay, so swing your legs over to the side and circle the arm up and around. Beautiful. Should feel really good. Make sure you're not sinking into that shoulder that you're leaning into. And come around to the other side. Curve back and swing your knees over to the left and swing the arm into our circle. Okay, back to center, fold over the legs. And we're rolling down slowly through the spine and extending the arms and legs. Okay, now from here, we're gonna do some roll ups. So reach the arms up, exhale, nod the chin, flex it forward, try to control your way up. Yes, keep that curve and then stack it. Now tilt the pelvis backwards and roll over the spine. Yes. That's our classic roll up. We'll do something a little bit different in a second, but curve up in your regular roll up. Fold over the legs, stack the spine, and then exhale, tilt the pelvis backwards and curve all the way back. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, nod the chin, flex it forward. Good, stack the spine all the way into neutral and then tilt the pelvis, curve it back. Okay, nod the chin, flex it forward. Yes, we're adding the fascial movement. So swing your arms back and forth. Good, stack the spine and curve, or we're keeping the curve. Bring the feet in, arms go overhead, lift the hips in the air, lower the hips, extend the legs and nod and curve back up through the spine. I know this is a huge like choreography to do, but once you get it um, a couple more times through, it'll make sense and it'll feel so good. Lift the hips into the air. Yes, lower the hips, extend the legs out. Nod the chin, flex it forward, and roll all the way back up through the spine. Swing your arms forward and back, or back and forth. Yes, stack, or no, we're not stacking, but we're curving through. Bring the feet in, bend the knees, lift the hips up. Or that was our last one, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, our next movement is our single leg circle. So reach one leg up to the ceiling, we're gonna Inhale as you circle one direction and then exhale, circle the other way. Perfect, so we make sure that you're actually switching directions. So you're creating a full circle, going clockwise and then counterclockwise. Your goal for this one, and it's the hardest part, is to keep the pelvis still. Your shoulders are locked in place behind you. Nothing is moving except for that leg inside your hip socket. Beautiful, switch to the other side. We go down and around, good, and scoop it around. Lovely. So inhale one way and then exhale the other way. Okay, now we're gonna do our fascial single leg circle. So bend both knees, right leg goes in tabletop, and we're just gonna stir the knee on top of your pelvis. Good, and then we're gonna go the other direction. So go ahead and turn it the other way. Lovely, again, keeping those hips as still as possible. Now we're gonna cross that right ankle over the left knee and twist your knees over to the left and do little pulses here to kind of open up even further in the hips and the low back. Okay, now your same leg is still on top, cross it even more and then twist the other way with the knees and the hips. Getting that bounce through the spine. All right, let's do the other leg. So left leg in tabletop position. We're doing our little knee stirs. So down and around. I think we're doing six. 
Okay, other way around. All right, so now cross that left ankle over the right knee and twist to the side. Yes, bouncing here a few, few more times. All right, bring it back up to center and then cross the knee over even more and swing your knees over to the other side. Bounce there, stretching out, should feel so good. Especially in the morning, right? Okay, now we're going to flip to your side, I think. Or no, just kidding. We're doing our spine twist. Oh my gosh, yes. Let's get into it. So we twist one direction three times and find your center. Exhale, twist the other way. Three, two, one. Inhale, find center. Perfect. And we twist. Two, three, and center. Good. We're going to add some more in just a second. But really get as much rotation as you can through the spine here. And by the way, you can bend your knees if this is too much on the hamstrings. Or you can sit in crisscross applesauce, but just for this first part. Okay, now we're gonna scoot your body over to one side and we're gonna add to the spine twist. So you're gonna twist away from the center of the mat. So go away from the center, two, three. Bring your body back up and you're pressing through the hands and feet to lift your butt in the air. I know it's a flattering angle, but you're just going to go with it. So hands go on the ground, lift the butt up, lower the butt and go again. Twist, two, three, switch. Hands go on the floor, lift the butt and lower. Beautiful. Surprisingly, this one gets your blood, glo <laughs> blood glowing, blood going pretty fast. And hands on the floor, lift the butt, and lower. Good, okay, so now we're going to do a full twist. So three, two, one, hands go on the floor, lift your butt up, and then fully twist, keep going with that motion. And then we're stopping here. So go ahead and scoot your body over to the other side. And then we're gonna do the other side. So twisting away from the center of the mat, so the other direction that you did not just go. And then hands on the floor, lift your butt up, and lower the butt. Good, and twist, two, three, and hands on the floor, and lower, nice, twist, and a two, and three, switch and hands up, yep, good. All right, now we're gonna add the whole twisting to the other side, completing your full rotation, so butt in the air, Switch to the other crisscross, good. So twist the other way now, one, two, three. Hands go on the floor, full, kind of, it's a, kind of like a cartwheel. And twist, two, three. If the coordination doesn't work for this time, try again with the next time you do this workout, but also you can just sit um, in your crisscross position and work on that twisting through the spine. Good, but this is so much fun. Twist, two, three. Lift your butt into the air, switch to the other side, and relax. Nice job. Yes. Okay, so our next movement is going to be on our side. So have your shoulder right underneath or right on top of that elbow. Stack the knees. They're going to be right in line with the rest of your body. So make sure that you are fully lined up. All right, so you're going to lift your hips into the air and then lower. So this is going to work your obliques as well as your side butt, just a little bit. So keep going, lift, inhale as you lower, exhale, press, and lower. Make sure that you're letting your hips sink. I know it's a weird thing because your abs don't quite engage as much down there, but keep going. And now we're gonna stay up there, stick your top leg out, and now we're going to do that same hip dip, but with that single knee. Good, and lower, and lift. I know you're gonna feel it in that bottom butt even more this time, even the top one too, as you're holding your leg up in the air. Good, and press, and release, and lift. Good, go ahead and relax. Now, making sure your shoulders are stable, we're gonna do our side kick. So knee is gonna kick forward twice, and then you're gonna swing your leg back on the exhale. Yep, so we're gonna inhale, kick with the knee, and then swing the leg fully back. Yes, and your goal here is to try to keep the chest in the same position. It's okay if you're shifting forward and back just a little bit, but you're gonna, you're gonna wanna minimize that amount of motion. And swing, 
and pull with the knee. Okay, now we're going to add the arm. Yeah, same motion, just adding the arm, swinging the knee forward as your arm goes back. It's just easier to watch. So go ahead and just follow what I'm doing there. Yes. Feel that nice stretch as you swing that arm back behind you or the leg back behind you and knee. Knee and swing. Perfect. Opening up the front of the chest. Perfect. Press, press, and swing. Lovely. Yeah, this one is especially harder to uh, keep your chest still. But go ahead and relax from there. But we're going to go back down onto our elbows, okay? Your knees are pulled in, or actually, no, they're, they're pretty much in line with the rest of your body. We're going to drop your body forward, and you're going to catch it with your top arm and swing your legs as well. It's kind of, I like to call this the barrel push, kind of like a push-up, but you're doing like a barrel roll. It's weird. It's a new Pilates motion for your fascia. So I haven't come up with my favorite name yet. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and put them down below and press away. Beautiful. Should be working your arm as well. All right. Nice. Let's switch over to the other side. First with our hip dips. So line up the knees with your head and we're going to lift the hips up lower and exhale lift. Perfect. Lower and lift and dip. Up and dip. Perfect. Now we're going to add that single leg out to the side and dip just that bottom knee. Good. Or that bottom hip. Perfect. And lower. Lift and a lower. Lift. Feel your bottom butt engaging. Good. Press through that shoulder. Use your breath to help you out if you're getting tired. Okay, our side kick. We're gonna pull the front knee or the knee forward twice with the knee and then swing it back. So inhale, inhale, exhale, swing it back. Or whatever breath pattern works for you. It's up to you as long as you're breathing. <laughs> and swing it back. Good, knee, knee and swing. Good, last one here. All right, now adding the arm. So we go knee, knee, swing the arm forward. And again, just follow what I'm doing. Good. Knee, knee, and swing. Check in with your bottom ribs. Make sure they're not sinking into the mat below you. Yes. All right, so line up the knees again. We're going to take that top arm, press into the floor, and press away. You are kind of like ricocheting or rebounding off of the ground as you do this. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty playful motion. Bend and stretch. Yes. It's hard though. You can tell. <laughs> All right, relax from there. Okay, let's do our rolling like a ball. So feet are in parallel in the air. Yep, grab onto your ankles or your knees, whichever feels better, but you're gonna roll onto your thoracic spine and then find your center. If you notice that you're kind of rolling off to the side of your mat, that might mean you have a little bit of an imbalance, <laughs> imbalance in your um, musculature. Today, or that morning that I was filming, I was rolling all over the place, so. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, just keep going here. Roll onto your thoracic spine, not onto your neck. So just the top of your shoulders. Yes, roll and release. All right, and then swing all the way up to standing. So go ahead and find that. Yes, we are off to the side of our mat and we're gonna swing back onto your hands and knees. We're gonna do our cheetah bounce. No, we're doing obliques, yes. So twist your knees to one side as you bounce, then find center and then twist the other way. So alternating sides each time and you're stopping in the middle each time you bounce. Good. And doing whatever breath pattern works for you just as long as you get enough oxygen in your body okay fold in a child's pose relax because those are hard they get you really quickly okay so our next one is going to be our scissors so we're gonna kick one leg up and jump off the floor yep it is an actual move yes it's the fascial scissors it's very it's very demanding on that standing leg, you'll, you'll see. And press and release and a press. Perfect, all right, go ahead and switch to the other side. Get ready there, I think we just did six. I'm not sure, but we will see. 
Perfect. If you want to point your toes too to be fancy, go for it. Press and release. Okay, nice. Relax in child's pose. Was that four? I think so. Yeah, fold in a child's pose. And now we are going to get onto your back again. Okay, we're gonna do our fascial hip lift. So widen your feet stance, knees out wide, lift your hips up into the air, close your knees together, lower the hips. Open at the bottom, lift the hips, knees together and lower. Perfect, open, lift, close and lower. Make sure that it's not your low back or your back doing any of the work here. It should be your abs and your butt doing all the work. Good, all right. This will be our last one, I think. Yes, and now keep your knees together as you lift. So knees together, lift up, open and lower the hips. Good, so we're reversing that circle. So start with your knees together, lift the hips up. Oh my gosh, why do we only do three? I'm sorry guys, <laughs> do another one if you want to. Okay. Go ahead and lift your legs in a tabletop and cross your ankles. If you want to, you can also just have your knees in parallel, but I'm gonna cross my ankles. So we're going to deepen your abs, lift your butt in the air, and then release. So this, it's very easy to cheat this one. You're going to slowly deepen the abs as you lift your butt in the air. Try not to use your legs to swing for momentum, but honestly, it's okay if there's a little bit of momentum, like I have a little bit going on there. Perfect, keep going. And then we're gonna switch your ankles if you had them crossed in the beginning. So again, yes, just to make sure we're not working one side subtly more than the other. And lift. All right, nice. Whew, I know that one is hard. Okay, we are going to come up to standing and we're gonna do our last roll down together. So hands down by your sides. We're gonna nod the chin, curve forward into your, yep, curve, curve, curve. Nice, walk the hands out, three, two, one, full plank here. Inhale as you bend the arms, exhale, press away. Inhale as you bend, exhale to press. Last one, bend and press. Good, hinge the hips up and walk back, three, two, one, and slowly roll on up through the spine and we are done for the day. Nice job, everybody. Thank you so much for working out with me. Um, I hope to see you next time. Love you so much. Bye.